Right, this is ruler number 14b. This is the Greek key. Very simple, clean, concise pattern that you'll be able to do with this ruler. You can see all the scroll lines on there to give your squares consistent, even squares. We're going to start with this area here. And because I like working right on the right hand side, I'm going to turn that over. And what that means is that it doesn't matter which side of the ruler you use, it will still do the pattern. I just like to work this way round. Okay, this is personal choice. So, I'm going to stitch that first pattern. Stitch down. And round. And stop at the line. Stop with the needle down and bring the ruler around. Okay? Line it up and stitch. Turn. Bring the ruler around and you can see your lines are matching up and we're going to stitch all the way to there. Lovely, consistent flow of stitching. Turn the ruler. And now we're going to stitch from that line all the way to there. Okay? Put your line on there and stitch across and down. And turn. And that's all you're doing on this pattern is turning. Okay, bring it in, because now we're going to do that little square there. Bring it down. You can do this pattern any which way you like. Once you get it into your head, where you're going on your ruler. Now I'm going to come down to that line there. Okay, so along. And down. Beg your pudding. I've got to come across there. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. There you go. That gives me my two keys there. Yes? Bring it along. And stitch one square. Put your lines on. If all else fails, put your lines on and you can read where you're going. Turn. Put your lines on and stitch to there. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle this one is, but if you sit back calmly and look at it, you'll see exactly where you're going to go. Now we're going to go up to that line there. Are you ready? Don't be afraid to reposition your hands if you feel that you're losing control of either the fabric or the ruler. Because you are in control. Okay? And I'm reading that pattern and that's where I need to go. Can you see that? And that's going to give me the neck here. So stitch. Along. And up. Take your time. The pattern is beginning to form. It's a very simple pattern. Lovely straight lines. Lovely corners. Bring it round. I'm going to cut that piece of thread there. You will finish that off properly, I'm sure. We're going to come across there. Put the lines on. turn the ruler and as you turn it so it all matches up <gasps> isn't that nice everything matches
Greek key. Now, if you wanted to, you could extend that so that when you come along there, you could extend that line all the way along so you could make a runner. This would be fine on a table mat. That's a perfect size for a table mat. Uh, 11 by 15, I cut my pieces of fabric. You can do pieces of square in your, in your pattern just to show you what you can do. Yes, you can do this with a straight line ruler as well, but sometimes it's nice to get the pattern just flowing and turn. And make a square. Where should we go? We'll actually come out at an angle. Why not? Even though we're at an angle, the square is still correct. Because you've got the lines there to line up. You see that? And the beauty of this ruler is, against the straight line ruler, is that the lines are all there for you. I'm now going to come out of there and use this ruler as a straight line ruler and bring my square out there. So now I can start to play with squares around the ruler, around your quilt. Bring it round, put your lines on and stitch up and start to play. Just turn the ruler. Consistent straight lines. Consistent curves, consistent, oh wrong scissors, consistent beautiful straight lines, beautiful curves, beautiful corners. Turn the ruler any which way you like. You're going to get consistency. This is ruler 14B, Greek key, squares, geometrics, preset squares, beautiful. Enjoy.